So this is Jim and Liz with DC Digital and today we're demonstrating a DC-25N-W system bundle and uh, it is a system of wireless uh, synchronized clocks, time of day clocks and it's 900 megahertz um, and they all have a range of 350 feet indoor to 1500 feet outdoor and we have a master that is a network uh, correction NTP cor uh, master clock and it is outputting to the secondaries and there's five secondaries that come with the bundle uh, they're 2.3 inch high digits all aluminum enclosure they can be mounted on a uh, handy box or a four square box and uh, they all come with 120 volt uh, wall adapters and uh, but we're going to go through and show you how to set up the master clock and uh, the, the secondaries are pretty self-explanatory you just plug them in and then they receive the uh, data from the master once it has uh, synced up to uh, NTP server and the server can be either um, off campus or uh, local and all that can be set up and I'm gonna have Liz here um, describe that to you and uh, without further ado go ahead Liz so um, on the back of the master is going to be a um, sticker that has a MAC address okay and once you have the this MAC one, address <laughs> um, you'll come to the IP setup you'll list all the SBL2E clocks on your server Okay, so you're trying to find the IP of the master. Yep. Okay. And um, so once you have that, it shows the um, IP address to the right of the MAC address. And you'll type that into your browser and it'll pull up this page. Um, this is the home page. Um, the home page is kind of just an overview of what all the settings are set at. You can change the settings by going over to clock and network. Um, so go down the list and uh, let us know what those settings are, what it's set up for right now currently. Yeah, so currently the server, I, um, the server address is the NIST um, server, so that's time.nist.gov. The last synchronized is the um, last time that the clock has synchronized with the um, server mm -hmm. and if you, ref if you refresh the page it'll update and it'll also tell you right underneath that whether or not the, the um, update was successful or not and then the last um, option in this area will tell you how often it's set to synchronize currently um, this clock will synchronize with the IP, with the um, NTP server every minute then there's some network information um, settings available so network configuration is currently DHCP and that's what we st that's what we um, send it out as yeah that's our that's our um, you know off the shelf so, shipped. Yeah, and then the device name is going to be DC-Digital-NTP-Dash, and then it's the last um, four characters of the MAC address. So this one's 19F7. And then it has the IP address of the device, the subnet mask, the gateway, the um, DNS IP addresses, and those are either auto populated through DHCP or you can set up your own if you change that to static. I'll show you that in a little bit. Then the last section on here is the time information. Um, currently this is set for um, 12 hour time format, Eastern Standard Time, local offsets minus five, and that matches the time zone. Then this is set to observe daylight savings time. So if we go to clock settings, so, um, we had pulled up this page previously. Sometimes it'll ask you for a username and password. 
default username is just username, all one word, all lowercase. Default password is password, all one word, all lowercase. But if you go to clock settings, you can change the username and password. You can change the server. You can change the um, update interval. You can change this from 12 hour, hour to 24 hour. Our default uh, update interval is one minute. Yeah. It's in minutes and you can go up to what, 1800 minutes? Yeah. Okay. And, and then, oops, sorry. Go ahead. The um, daylight savings time, you can check it to observe or not. Um, this will only change once we're actually in daylight savings time. And then um, time zone is set to Eastern. And then this will be defaulted to the shipping address of where the clock is going to. And then if you need to change any settings, hit submit. They'll bring you back to the... Um, the main. Yeah, the main. And then go over to network settings. Here you can change the device name and the addressing mode. And um, once again, if you change anything, just hit submit. And it'll bring you back to the home page. Okay. All right, very okay. good. Yeah, so that is a web page that's resident on the uh, master. And um, once you get your IP address, and, and then that can be acquired if you do not know it, there's a program on our uh, site. It's on our blog site, and it's under Network Utilities. And you just put that in your search of the blog in the uh, blog site, and uh, it brings up the auto uh, IP address or auto IP uh, for the net net burner uh, uh, card that is within the uh, master, and then once that uh, syncs up, it will go ahead and send out the uh, correct time of day to all the uh, secondaries. And as you can see, we're set up here, and um, they're all they're all synced up to uh, 301. Again, this is a, a bundle that uh, comes uh, that can be ordered off the website, and um, looks like you change the hours there. Yeah. Um, so you can you can make them 12 or 24 hour. Um, you can make them any time zone within the five continental uh, uh, United States. And uh, but this is a DC-25 uh, N-W system uh, bundle. And this is Jim and Liz with DC Digital. Thank you.